Hello, hello, and uh, my name is Justin, and I've got some Call of Duty 4 gameplay here, so this will be my first video I'm going to be posting on this channel, and I'd like to appreciate them for posting this video up. Um, so a bit about myself, my my name is Justin, my last name is Lau, so you can guess where I got my gamer tag from, the JLau. Um, I am 16, I am turning 17 uh, this December. Um, a few of my hobbies aside from gaming are, I'm a pretty big hockey fan, but I don't really play ice hockey anymore as last season was my last, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be playing this year, I kind of just want to focus on uh, getting the good grades for school and such, and uh, I really kind of want to get good at Call of Duty Black Ops, so um, a bit call of, uh, about Call of Duty, um, probably my tip for that I would like to give is that, uh, as you can see, I, I start this game here, we already capped the two flags and I was joining late, and my whole strategy strategy towards this uh, ga game and playing domination in general is that whenever you're playing on a map which is which I would consider um, a showdown to be a straight map as you can see all the flags pretty much line up perfectly not like at a bit of at a bit of a diagonal and I would like to try and hold the team off at one flag and just uh, pick them off from here and I have no clue what this guy's doing right here he's just like staring at the ground so I tell him to sit down and um so I think I did a pretty good job of uh, holding off uh, Making sure that they weren't able to advance too far out of their base and uh, sort of playing a uh, sort of playing defensive around there and uh, rushing out and getting kills and kill streaks for my team and etc. So um, I actually started playing Call of Duty for the GameCube, which uh, the first one that I played was uh, called Call of Duty Finest Hour, and uh, that was quite a while ago. I think I was maybe in uh, grade six possibly, and then I kind of really like put first-person shooters down for a few years. I was like mainly into playing RPGs like Final Fantasy, uh, some of the Tales series which I really enjoy and uh, it wasn't until the summer of uh, 2008 that I actually uh, got my Xbox 360 and from then I've been playing Call of Duty 4 solid for about, I'd say about a maybe a, under a year and a half because I actually traded this game in to get rolled out war and then I rebought it again which I sort of brings into the story of how I got into commentating in general and such. I got a nice deagle clip right there. But um, when I first was going to buy Call of Duty 4 again after I have uh, traded it in, um, I was on YouTube just searching up some videos so I can try and learn some tips and stuff because my KD was very bad at that point. It was like, I think it was 0 0.72 and I actually managed to get my KD to like, I think it's 1.02 now or something. And uh, I was watching, I went on YouTube and I searched up Call of Duty 4 gameplay and the first person I think that popped up was uh, Pyro Puncher and uh, from then on I've really enjoyed watching his videos, he's sort of been my, a bit of an inspiration to start uh, doing all this stuff and uh, it was, uh, I've watched, so I started watching his videos for about a year and I've always like, I want to get a capture card and I just want to post videos up and talk about like, I guess talk about life in general, gaming and uh, sharing some experiences and things like that because I kind of feel like this, um, when I first actually did record uh, some Call of Duty gameplay, I would just do game by play, game by game commentary and uh, I didn't really think that it was that great and then but now as time progressed I think I, I felt that I got a, a probably a lot better at commentating and uh, that's why uh, that's why I decided to buy a capture card because when I first was recording I actually recorded on a digital on a digital camera and it, it didn't turn out too well I kind of got quite a bit of negative feedback on it and uh, I wasn't too happy about that and I was thinking of uh, at one point I was gonna try and go for like an easy cap or something but um i had too many technical difficulties with it like i wasn't able to get it to work or anything and the problem was i had to play in 480p and in 480p when you play on a standard definition tv it looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie it looks like it's good enough for me and i know there are probably some people who do play on standard definition tvs like i know a few people that do and they're they're actually really good call of duty players and they got really used to playing on a standard definition so it's all personal preferences but when you're playing on an hd tv it kind of stretches it out and it doesn't really look very nice so um i pretty much uh, had a job i saved up money to buy like a new tv and uh buy a capture card and uh so pretty much here i am today and i started this channel um i think the su yeah this summer actually and uh i had an older channel but uh I just didn't really want to post anything on it because it was actually my old gamer tag, a Choppy32x, and uh, so I decided just to make this one uh, because um, I wanted to make a channel that wasn't going to be my gamer tag in case I like ever want to change it, and I kind of want to put the name as something that I like. And if you're probably wondering where I got Steel Blue Dragon from, uh, Steel Blue is a shade of blue, which is like a very uh, metallic one sort of, and I kind of like dragons; and they're probably like my favorite thing, and. 
which brings me to my next thing I want to talk about is for Call of Duty Black Ops is I'm probably going to be using the dragon as my emblem as the new customization uh, video came out a few days ago. I'm not sure when this is going to get uh, uploaded, but um, the customization and everything in Black Ops looks pretty sweet. The fact that I won't have to work for my camos anymore. So as you can see, I don't get very many headshots too often and uh, I'd rather just like buying it and Unfortunately, this game was cut a bit short as the host got a little angry. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and leave a comment for some feedback. Thanks a lot for watching.